Sure. So, hi, my name is Sam Manuel. I'm a naval architect, predominantly active in the Class 40 and IMOCA and Class Mini, amongst other production design. We're just back from the Rex Fastnet. It was a fantastic race in the Class 40. There was a, a huge, uh, huge fleet. I think there was uh, around 43 boats at the start line in, in this class. So, massive, uh, massive success, I think. And, uh, and the level of competition was, uh, was really tough. There was uh, unfortunately one guy who, who broke the mast and he was uh, leading the race. Bit of a shame for him, but uh, apart from that, the, the race went uh, pretty, pretty good, I think, from most of the, of the guys. And I say you mentioned you had six memoir designs in the top six. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as a designer, how how exciting is the class forty fleet at the moment? It's super exciting because uh, there is a big level of competition between designers as well as between skippers, etc. So it's really pushing us towards uh, making better boats, and these boats are quite simple in their architecture. Uh, there is no foils, there is no canting keel, there is no complicated item. So you have to focus on, on what is essential, on the, on the row, uh, on the heart of the design and, and that's really cool. And I think from, a, from the dock perspective, the thing that really stands out is this scow bow. The, the scow bow, they are giving a, a better behavior through the waves, especially uh, when you go with the waves, so down waves. It gives you also extra uh, stability, hull form stability. So you're gaining uh, both basically. You have a boat which is more powerful. You can put more horsepower in the engine. And uh, as well as because uh, there is this slope in the bow, you're able to, uh, to, to go over the waves when you surf with the waves. And uh, the, the speed increment we, we got uh, with these uh, new hull shapes are really, really massive, and especially when you bear away. So starting from 70 true to, uh, to almost BMG downwind, you make gain. And uh, the more waves, the more gain you make, and the more wind and the more gain you make. So it's super efficient. So it's a really positive circle. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a positive look. And, uh, and what other kind of big areas have you been working on with you know, each design evolution? Uh, so there are uh, aspects of the design which are uh, linked to, uh, to the ergonomics, uh, how to be comfortable on board, how to feel safe on board, and uh, how to be efficient when you're maneuvering, etc. These boats are really uh, made for solo and double-handed, mostly. So you obviously you can say uh, four, we wear four on the fastnet, but uh, this is a big part of the, of the performance basically because the human is always the, the weak chain. Uh, uh, so there is this and obviously there is the performance aspect. So you have to, to pay uh, attention and invest some time and energy and research uh, for the, the hull shape development uh, appendices uh, and, uh, and, and all that. And of seeing lots of things that you know you pick out from the eye mockers and I know it feeds both ways so the, the reverse and the top sides the coach roof protection for the crew there's a lot of interdynamic between those two isn't there yeah yeah there are there are some similarities and some some items can be transposed from uh, one class to another uh, the Imoka obviously as uh, I mean the dynamic of the boat is really uh, impaired by the, the foils, right? So because you have the foils, so you have a different dynamic. So the, the hull shape, there are some similarities and there are some differences, and mostly because of the foils. But apart from that, uh, yeah, on, on Imoca or Class 40 or Mini Class, uh, what you're trying is to protect as much as possible the, the crew on board and, uh, and, and have a simple boat that, that someone is able to, to, to use and achieve uh, optimum performance. So, if you're able to achieve, uh, let's say, 95% uh, of the potential of the boat, this is great.